Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia, and today I'm going to show you the 2017 Kia Forte with the Lane Keeping Assist System. So we're going to focus just on that safety system. Now a lot of modern cars are coming with these advanced safety systems, and a lot of people feel that it adds complications to their driving. But Kia's system is very simple to use, very easy to understand, but there's a few things you need to know about it first. So later in the video we're going to drive the car, we're going to do our best to show you the system in action, while we're driving, but first I'm just gonna describe the system. So lane keeping assist basically keeps an eye, the car on its own will keep an eye on the lane markers left and right. So if there's only a yellow line, it'll show you in the dash that it, it sees that line. If there's a line on both sides, left and right of the car, it'll show you in the dash that it sees those lines. Once it sees those lines and you're above 60 kilometers an hour, it will help keep you in that lane. Now what, is that, what do I mean by that? Well first of all, it's gonna give you an audible and a visual warning. So in other words, it's gonna make a beep and it's gonna blink in your dash telling you that you've crossed the line. Now of course, if you signal, it's gonna turn off those audible warnings so you can signal and cross lanes no problem. The other thing it's going to do is it is actually capable of steering yourself or steering the car by itself back into the lane. Now this is the system that throws people off. It's a very, very, very subtle system. It kind of feels like there's just a bit of a hill in the road and it'll gently guide you back. It's not something you should rely on because it does miss the line. It doesn't always steer you back. But at times when the system is activated, you'll feel that system keep you in the center of lane or drive you back into the lane very, very gently. So it's a cool system. It's easy to use. You can turn it off when you don't want it, but if you're a little bit drowsy or if you're doing a long trip, it's a great system to keep on and it's completely non-intrusive once you understand what it does. So we're gonna go take this car for a drive and we'll try to do our best to show you how it works. All right, so what I'm about to try here is not something you should do on your own. This is, uh, you should not try this at home kind of thing. But as you can see, you're gonna see the two gray lines turn white as the car as we get above 60 kilometers an hour and it recognizes the left and right side of the road. So they are now white. Now that green steering wheel means the car is capable of steering itself. So here's a bend in the road. That green steering wheel went away because it didn't recognize this bend. Keep that in mind. You, if the, steering, if the green steering wheel goes away, it will not be steering itself and it does tend to go away around bends. Now depending on the bend, it can steer itself. So again, green steering wheel's back. The car is capable of steering itself. Now we've got traffic, of course we're gonna keep our hands on the wheel. But I am gonna let the car steer itself now. We're free of traffic. And this little tiny bend, the car sees the road lines and it is steering itself around the bend. So that's how lane keeping assist works. It will always alert you if you come near a road or if you come near the line. Uh, Ken, it's warning me here. So again, if we come near the line, with the green steering wheel on, the car is steering itself right now. I'm not touching the wheel. And it's gone around that bend on its own. Now it's not made to go around bends. That green steering wheel will normally disappear around bends. And of course I've got control now. If I'm drifting to the left, it'll give me an audible warning. It'll steer me back in. So again, there's two parts to the system. The green steering wheel, right now it's steering itself around the corner, all by itself, which is really kind of weird. And it's keeping me centered in the lane. When that green steering wheel is gone and you just have the lines, there we go, it's warning me. If you just see those white lines, just like now, there's only a white line on the left and a gray line on the right. That means it's recognizing the line on the left, no, no line on the right. Without that green steering wheel, it will not steer itself. With the green steering wheel, it's capable of steering itself. But of course, that thing can come and go at any time. So you don't want to rely on it. But of course, if you got drowsy, you could see in a situation like this, uh, my hands are off the wheel. And now, see, that time it didn't want to rely on it. But just so you know, hands off the wheel, the car will control itself. So again, green steering wheel is gone. It won't control itself. I've got traffic up ahead, so of course I'm going to be very, very careful. This is, again, not something you should try at home. All right, so here we go again. So it recognizes the left line. Let's see if it picks up the right line. So it's still gray, not recognizing. There we go, recognizes the right line. It will at this point beep no matter which line we cross. And with the green steering wheel, it will assist in steering. Now, if you keep your hands on the wheel like I'm doing right now around this bend, you feel nothing different. It may be a little bit of force if I was to drift off center, but you really feel nothing different. If I let my hands off the wheel, which again, shouldn't do, the right line disappeared, so I'm not sure how safe I feel doing that. But right now, the car is steering itself. I'm gonna wait for another white line, yeah. Green light's gone. All right, white line's on the right side again. And you'll see the car pick that up. 
there it is as soon as it picked it up it's willing to steer itself but again traffic it's not sure there's a hill so again green steering wheel is what we're looking for once that green steering wheel's up again it's capable of steering itself i'm not going to let that happen with a bus or car coming but it's a really cool system as you can see every now and then it will be capable of steering itself so if you're drowsy and you happen to lose that focus for a couple seconds it'll certainly beep at you right now it's beeping at me because I'm crossing that lane and of course if I get really tired and that green uh, steering wheel is up it will actually steer me back into my lane potentially avoiding a very serious accident so again it's now thinking it can drive by itself let's see Again, there's no white line here and it's still trusting the left line to drive by itself. And now of course it's gone again. So there are a few white lines, but a really, really, really cool system in a Forte. So really easy to override. You don't feel anything in the steering wheel when you, when you override that auto steering kind of uh, system, but certainly a great safety feature to have. Works really, really, really well. Not intrusive, simple, simple, simple. So I think this is a fantastic system. I think every Forte should have it, but if you're looking at a Forte, again, I'm in the Forte SX. This is a great car. It's got cooled seats on right now, and it's got the lane keep assist with auto steering to help. Now, again, I'm not gonna trust around this corner because yeah, there we go. The green light turned off on a sharper corner. So don't trust it around corners. Don't use it to drive on its own. It's not safe. It's not designed for that. You shouldn't do what I'm doing right now, but if you come close to these lines, it's gonna beep for you and it is capable in the right situation of steering you back into the lane. What a system, very, very cool. So head down to Brantford Kia, you gotta try out the system, give it a test drive.